back with another video and in this video I'm gonna show you some of the items that I picked up at my antique shop uh, he hasn't been getting much in lately so uh, the pickings were pretty slim but let me go ahead and start off with this note from Mexico and it says Banco de Mexico and it has and the reason I bought it was because it had that Aztec calendar in front this is one peso Mexican peso uh, the going rate right now is about a little less than five cents per peso. So this is pretty much almost five cents. But if I understood correctly, I don't think the merchants in Mexico are accepting this bill anymore. I think it's outdated. You could take it to the bank and they'll give you whatever today's uh, equivalent value is. But I'm not very familiarized with Mexican currency. And like I said, the only reason I picked this up was because I like that design in front. That's what makes some really nice uh, decor. Anyway, it's five cents, so if someone takes it, it's no big deal. Um, but it is a very nice decal in the front. So this is one of the ones I picked up. Another foreign currency that I picked up was this 1944 two shilling. British coin. There's the front. And here's the reverse. I thought that was really neat. I liked it. Like the design with their King George on the front. So I picked this up. Another one that has King George. But the reason I picked this one up is because I like the reverse. This is half a penny. And this is really, really nice. Look at that design. It's 1951. I like that ship design in the back. And I really like a lot of this stuff when it has ships and stuff. That is really neat. So that was another pickup. Then he had this that someone actually sold to him. It's part of a D-Mint set. The penny, the dime, the nickel. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with this, but this is a demon mark. It's still in the original plastic. It's missing the other half, unfortunately. But I thought it was pretty interesting, so if I find it interesting, I'll pick it up. Especially if it's cheap. This is another thing. This is uh, a filly. And it's from the from the bank. Let's see here. It's from the and this comes in a lot of the proof sets. And so he had this one there loose. And of course, I thought that'd be pretty cool to have as part of a collection, even though I don't have the set to go with it. But I find that design to be cool. I also picked up, and excuse me for touching it bare hand, I wash my hands, I promise. I picked up some half dollars, 40% silver. I picked up six of those. Now these I have them facing down. These are the best finds that I did find at the shop. And uh, <clears throat> it is the 1909 VDB penny. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you. If you're going to be able to see that VDB in the bottom. That there's that glare. You can barely make it out. Right here. I wish I could focus closer. It really won't let me. That's about as close as I can get. But you can barely see it there in the bottom. So this was one of the best <coughs> purchases that I got there. So I was like, wow. And then I also, I got two of them, in fact. So I couldn't help it. I was like, wow. To have one is great. To have two is fantastic. One of these will be going into my book. And I don't know if you can see that VDB there in the bottom. 
There it is. So these are some of the things that I picked up at my antique shop. Like I said, he's been having a drought. Not too many people have been going by to uh, drop off coins. And the last item is I managed to get a baggie of pennies. Wheat pennies and Lincoln Memorial pennies. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and fill in these three books. So I'm going to be working on them. And I hope to get them filled. So I'll be right back with a summary of how I did on these books. Okay, I'm back. After filling the slots, um, I'm still missing some, but not as many as when I got started. The books are coming along nicely. And I look forward to, over the years, filling in these slots. Uh, some of them shouldn't take too long to find. But as we get into the earlier years, those will be the most difficult to find. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will continue to search for the coins missing in my books. And I will try to go as often as I can to the antique shop uh, to see what I can find. Lately, there hasn't been much. Uh, not much has been coming in. So uh, he relies on people that go to sell their stuff. And whenever he does get a good uh, thing that he thinks I might be interested in, he'll contact me and let me know. So it might be some time before I go to the uh, antique shop again. But if I do, I'll make sure to share my finds with you. And this was really fun, especially filling up these books. So I still got a long way to go on these books, but one day they'll be done. And I do plan to share that with you the day that that happens. So take care, have fun, and until next time, bye everyone. Mm -hmm.